there's nothing wrong with being sexy. Of I think course. it's a part of our femininity. It's it's something that we're blessed with. Um, but of course, keeping it classy and elegant, good enough for kids to watch it and families to watch it is a balance that one needs to find mm -hmm. um, and navigate through. Luckily, uh, a lot of the songs that I did, the lyrics were about um, you know love or about romance or about um, it's nothing vulgar, so there was no need to attach vulgar imagery to it. I'd mm. say King uh, Shah Khan, sir. Uh, of yeah. course. You mm. want to give a reason? I mean, not that I, I mean. mean SRK. It's in the name, right? Come on. Exactly. It's in the name. Right? Exactly. No, no. exactly. exactly. uh, Self-explanatory. I mean, Sandeep, I've, I've known him from Arjun Reddy. Like, I've always, you know, we have that culture in South where, you know, if we really like some work, we're not mm. going to think twice. We're just going to take the random numbers and just call them in give them the appreciation. Even Sandeep didn't have my number. He, he, he got my number from someone and messaged me. It was so sweet of him to do that. We, we had some picture differences of Nigan mm. and all of that. Uh, we didn't want to recreate that uh, look. So I have a white streak in right here. Correct. That is what Mr. Kamalji had in Vikram. So I thought it looked very nice. It looked very, very natural around mm. that. So I did that streak and then the director saw. He said, looks really good and we worked that out in the mm. film. Hello everybody, I'm Radrani and welcome to Zoom Speak Easy. My guest today promised to break the matka. It is of course a time of celebration and they are coming with this absolutely blockbuster looking film, the team matka joining in. You do promise to break the matka, don't you? I'm trying. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying very hard. And everybody is going to get the moolah. Moolah, yeah. Yeah, are you only Vasu will get. <laughs> that <laughs> is no true. one else. The house only wins. The house only wins. But you know, I, I'm 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 focusing on the moolah and matka and all of that mm -hmm. is because uh, yeah, Apki also is being said to be one of the most expensive films. This that this you is yeah. I mean, it required to spend not like just wanted to spend yeah. a buck, but uh, because we had to recreate everything back mm. in the 60s, 70s. So huge sets. Uh, we had a market set that we erected on a 13. Seven eight acre, wow! Place so you know there was a lot of money going into that. Mm. Um, obviously, good actors and everything was a recreation, especially the costumes, everything. So that so a lot of money went into that. But I think I see no, that. It's not like I charged a lot. Ah, <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't. making that clear. <laughs> okay, so Varun's being I, Varun's I like I charged how, like not so much, but the <laughs> set. Yeah. Interestingly, you also have already got a lot of praise uh, from industry veterans. For, for the trailer, yeah. Yeah, yeah for yeah. the trailer. I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a very different role that, I've, uh, that I'm playing in uh, Matka. I mean, like I'm playing a 50-year-old guy. Mm. So it's something uh, very ex exciting and challenging for me. Yeah. I think uh, so far from the little which they've seen in the trailer, I've got some decent to good appreciation, yeah. Because Varun is very awkwardly talking about it. He's gotten love from Sandeep Reddy, Vanga, yeah. Paranjit to begin with. Yeah, Which I mean, is like massive validation for all yes, of you. For sure. How do you feel being validated by the veterans? No, uh, you can talk I about mean, the two I, mean, I just I mean, mentioned. I mean, Sandeep, I've, I've known him from Arjun Reddy. Like, I've always, you know, we have that culture in South where, you know, if we really like some work, we're not mm. going to think twice. We're just going to take the random numbers and just call them and give them the appreciation. Even Sandeep didn't have my number. He, he, he got my number from someone and messaged me. It was so sweet of him to do that. Yeah, and Paranjit. Also, yeah, because he had his uh, he had his uh, guy called Kishore who's worked with uh, him in Tangalan. Mm. So that's his first film, as, second film as a DOP there. Correct. And uh, obviously his prodigy is you know coming in and you know doing something great. Uh, that's where the appreciation came from. Do you all have the biggest blessing you, including Mr. Chiranjeevi, who yeah, decided oh, to? Is, his blessing is always there for me. <laughs> so yeah. No, of yeah. course, but I also feel like he wouldn't like sort of stand by something he, wouldn't, he doesn't he wouldn't, like. Uh, he, he'll like, give it on my face. Saying. He'll probably not tell it out, but to <laughs> me in person, he'll just uh, give it straight on my face. So did he? Did he? I, I mean, he's he he's been a mass commercial yeah. hero. So uh, he even though he likes likes it when I try something very different and mm. offbeat. Um, this is what he likes, this is what he actually watches and when he saw this, he, he really loved it. He said, this, will, this is going to work. Fantastic. I said, okay. <laughs>
Whew, the size Not too many of words he said this will work. <laughs> that's, that's, it. that's that's fair enough. Does that's he, good yeah. enough. Does he usually get it right? He does, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> why he's like just in no. case. Let me ask that. He's done 150 films and he is where he is. Yeah, he get he gets it right. That is true. 100. I mean, he's a legend, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but before I move on to the lovely ladies, yeah, I, please, I must please. ask this. Varun, it's what happens is यहाँ पे एक बहुत comfort zone होता है actually for superstars. उनको कहा जाता है यही repeat करना यही चलता है आपके fans यही मांगते हैं. You actually did not apply that logic to your films and I include Matka in this ki yaar meri pichli film ne itni kamai hai I now have to stick to this because maybe that's exactly what my fan you never let your box office result ki this film has not worked so let me go back to doing something commercial right I want to understand where does this conviction come from mm -hmm. and you know you come from a family where they're all mass heroes right but you uh, I think don't think like that See, there's no set blueprint for what sure. works as an exactly. actor. So, in the beginning, especially, I thought, you know, uh, I've, I've noticed this thing in our audience that once you start doing only mass films or offbeat films, you get stereotyped. Mm. So, for me, in the initial stages of my career, I had this thing yeah. in my mind. See, definitely, you have to work uh, uh, and act with your for your strengths, mm. uh, but you'll figure that out with time. Uh, it's not that you do one two films and you do a love story and that works out and you know you're a rom-com you're a rom uh, you're a romantic hero you have to diversify and try different roles um, so i i put that effort from the beginning uh, i mean see obviously see when my, uh, my last film tanked i gave it a thought yeah. but I, I i've already finalized this film i've gone to shoot before i started promoting that film though but you always have to have that introspection see why it failed or you know what went wrong with that you know work and you know apply that for your next film I've did that with Matka. I somehow thought, you know, my last two films have done some segmented films, mm. which were targeted towards a specific set of audience. You know, it's not for the masses, and it's not. It wasn't for everyone. I thought it was time I move that, you know, uh, coin a little bit and you know try out something which appeals to a larger section of audience. Yeah, I thought Matka was that attempt. It was reminding them of the era of very famous films that Kamal Hassan has done as well. Naik and Nenol, yeah. And uh, which is, I think, fabulous that it they even said things. If your film, if people are able to relate it to a super hit or a blockbuster, <laughs> that is all you need. <laughs> it is okay if they compare it also. It's, no, no, it's, it's, just, yeah, it's, it's like a compliment. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean. But yeah. did you drive inspiration? Is what I'm saying because it. I mean, there's art is inspired. Yeah, but so I we we had some picture differences of Nigan mm. and all of that. Uh, we didn't want to recreate that uh, look. So I have a white streak in right here. Correct. That is what Mr. Kamalji had in Vikram. So I thought it looked very nice. It looked very, very natural and mm. all that. So I did that streak and then the director saw, he said it looks really good and we worked that out in the mm. film. It gave, a, it gave a nice touch to the uh, old character that I played in the film. Um, I mean, there's Marlon Brando's Godfather, which is like, uh, sure. like it's a go-to movie for me. You know, that I've never thought I'll get a role something similar or closer to that. Mm. This had little shades of, you know, mm. what uh, he played in that film. So I didn't try to mimic them anywhere. I, I wouldn't do that mistake. But uh, there is definitely a source of inspiration, yeah. you know, to play this in a certain way. Honest, uh, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. And why not, right? Like, is that something that great? You have to learn from the greats. A hundred percent. As long as you're learning from the greats, and you have, <laughs> you've taken the right choices. Uh, Minakshi, it's very interesting, I'm sure. Uh, a lot of people who don't know, she's actually done many films in yeah. Telugu and Tamil as well. Yeah. Um, and you've got a lot of love, uh, you know, of course, you were not uh, born in this uh, part right. of, of the country. Um, but of course, you know, you decided to stay around, I'm assuming because you've also received a lot of love and acceptance from it. Um, tell me, how did you decide that path eventually? I'm truly grateful to be where I am today and uh, I am somebody who's never really forced myself into things which which do not glide with me naturally. Mm. I'm somebody who listens to my gut. I always have. And um, I, I go where I'm respected, where my work is respected, where my time is respected. And I feel like if I get the same mutual respect uh, from them, I will give my 100% to that. It's all about, uh, you know, because when you're working, that's a part of your life. Mm. You cannot segregate. A lot of people are like, you know, there's like work-life balance, there's personal balance. I feel it is all one. You try and make time for everything. 
So if I'm doing something that's occupying 18 hours of my day, 16 hours of my day, every day, I might as well enjoy and, and feel like I'm doing something that I truly love doing. Mm. And I'm not just doing it because I have to do it. Because then I would be doing other things that I'm very much capable of or qualified of doing. So I think for me, the number one thing that came in was the acceptance, the love. Um, and I come from an army background, so for us, it's like, you know, when every, every time somebody asks us, so where are you from? I'm confused, where should I say, where I was born or where I was posted last or That's where true. I'm right now? True. It's always a confusing thing to tell, you know. Uh, so I think for me, it's like, I would say that because we've traveled all over India, we have like bits and pieces of every state that we've lived in, that I've studied in, um, you know, I think it stays with you. So. I've never had the differentiating factor thanks to my dad's job and thanks to my childhood, I think. So when I was given the opportunity, I've always wanted to be working where I am given something that I feel like resonates with who I am and what I'm capable of. So when they kind of wanted to tap into that potential of mine, I was 100% ready with all guns blazing and just ready to do my best. But yes, it's, it's been a journey. It's not been easy. Uh, but nothing ever is. You mm. choose your tough, you know, and uh, I chose to do this. But I think this is probably the best decision I made for myself. And now I cannot imagine myself doing anything else but this. How lovely. So, yeah. As you see, Nora is wearing her crown even in the poster. <laughs> she never lets it go. And she continues. It's quite a moment, though, for Nora to be doing this role, I feel, in Matka. You know, I've watched her journey. She's been, like you were saying, it's not an easy journey. Um, she's been through so much judgments and I feel like dancers were always looked upon as, ah, she'll just be right. a dancer and she'll, right. that's how you are. Now it's a different fate, but like even I think six years back, she's been through all of that to say, just a dancer. I feel like it comes in a full circle for you to be doing a role like this, which we're actually, like I said, wearing a crown <laughs> and also being the dancer. You're playing a role that you have actually been doing your whole life mm -hmm. and getting to do it in an era that is so magical. I feel like this is quite the moment for you and also kind of an answer to all those people who said that what will you get out of dancing and being stuff? 100%. I don't know, Lo too long for my assumption probably. No, it's true, you, I, you've nailed it, it's, it's correct. Um, not only am I playing a performer, but it's, she's a businesswoman, she's very strong, mm. she's running the show, but she's also um, a very great character and I, for the first time, being able to play a character like that, it's very interesting. She is literally a plot twist in Varun Tej's character's life in the movie. Um, and not only am I playing a role that requires me to perform as an actor, but it's also me uh, delivering Telugu lines for the first time, which was very different and tough for me. <laughs> um, I had to really focus and, you know, instead of just kind of just come on set and like, do a couple of the words and then just uh, move my mouth for the other stuff. I actually wanted to make sure that I learned every word of my lines and I emoted according to the lines. So I understood what I was saying. I put a lot of time and effort behind that and Karu uh, Karuna sir was very patient. He believed in me. Um, he allowed, gave me all the resource required for me to be able to do that. And of course, Varun also was very helpful with some of the lines that I was doing um, because when you kind of enter a foreign territory like that, 100% you have anxiety, you start panicking, you're worried, you don't want to embarrass yourself in yeah. front of people, a set full of you know, technicians and actors, you don't want to make people wait. There's a lot of things that happen and I told my director, I said, sir, it's one thing to mug up lines mm. and it's another to actually deliver them to allow your emotions to match what yeah. you're saying. I think that's the right way. Yeah. yeah that's the right way. That's what you I was quite surprised when I saw, uh, saw Nora do her telephone lens yeah. quite fluently. Wow. Yeah, she was scared. She texted me the previous night saying, hey, dude, I'm not getting this. I'm freaking I said, out. I said, just take yeah. some time. <laughs> just get them. She was asking for some meaning. And then, mm -hmm. So I like, send her the meaning. And then in the morning, she nailed it. Quite good. It's the first Telugu film, right? It was, yeah. yeah. yeah it was my first Telugu film. Get used to it now. Ah. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I, I love the industry. I love South. And, you know, I, I don't know if you're aware, but since 2015, I've been performing in South. Of course. Industry. I actually had my biggest break in South in 2015. And I did a song with Varun Tej also mm. in a movie. And to be able to transform from that to this now after like seven, eight years, it's a huge huge deal for me. It's a big accomplishment. It's also testimony to, to the fact that my journey will constantly be a new conversion and accomplishment every step of the way. Um, and yeah, here we are. A lot of people ha have always assumed 
that um, you know when there is when, it, when there is sexualization of songs that you're a part of it. A lot of people don't know. And in the past, you've actually gone, gone ahead and said that, you know, I would like this to be a certain way. Mm -hmm. I want the aesthetics to be a certain way. I want it to be an attractive, beautiful song mm -hmm. and, and not the otherwise. Mm -hmm. I hope, I want to talk about that. Okay. And uh, you have done that for a lot of your songs. For many years, whenever I was promoting Dilbar, Saki, um, Ek To Kam Zindagani, all these really big songs, I always term them as dance-oriented songs, performance-oriented songs, and that's what they are. There's songs where hardcore choreography, crazy hook steps, um, great aesthetics, fashion, and amazing music, and that's what it is, you know. And I, I always looked at it as how do Western people do music videos in pop culture? Let's try to bring that aesthetic into our songs in, in cinema. And people have been doing it in Hindi cinema for decades. I yeah. mean, Helen did it, Madhuri Ma'am did it, um, Katrina did it, so many people did it. In between, yeah, you'll have those songs where it's only about looking sexy and selling that and nothing else. But for the most part, what made Bo Bollywood very iconic are these songs that focus on dance mm -hmm. and performance, like Helen Mams and, and many more. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I did that too. And I'm so glad that the directors I worked with and the choreographers I worked with were on the same page as me and gave me the opportunity to exercise the freedom of my creativity and things that I wanted to do and allow me to present myself the way I was comfortable. Um, there's nothing wrong with being sexy. Of I course. think it's a part of our femininity. It's, it's something that we're blessed with. Um, but of course, keeping it classy and elegant, good enough for kids to watch it and families to watch it is a balance that one needs to find mm. um, and navigate through. Luckily, uh, a lot of the songs that I did, the lyrics were about um, you know, love or about romance or about um, it's nothing vulgar, so there was no need to attach vulgar imagery to it. Yeah. And I think with my fans and the audience, they understood that, and that's why I started Hashtag Dance with Nora, because I realized that after every song, people understood that this is about dance. This is about body okay. movement, choreography. Let's learn the dance, let's pick up the hook step. And the hashtag allowed me to create a platform for people to be able to showcase their talent using my moves and using the music that I was dancing to. No, 100%. Also, I remember that uh, you'd actually pointed out during a song in Dilba where you were like, you know, I'm not okay with this top. Can we change it and make mm -hmm. it like not distracting? Am mm -hmm. I right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You did that even this song. I th even I with this song. I, I do it for every song. Yeah. But it's not because, it's only because my body type, unfortunately, I can't wear certain things, of you course. know, and sure. other girls can. And I'm like, I wish I could wear what they're wearing. They look so good, but it doesn't match my body type. So we have to like figure out, okay, make it bigger, wider, et cetera, certain yeah. things, cover up certain parts, still be sexy, yeah. but not, um, not like, okay, what is she wearing? I don't want to make people uncomfortable when they're watching me. And I think with my body type, because it's different, um, I am heavier. A lot of directors, stylists have to kind of navigate through that. Sure. And it takes time. Um, and another thing about costume, which I noticed over the years, sometimes when we make certain costumes, mm. they look great on me, and, but when I'm dancing, it's not feasible because yeah. I'm so energetic in my dance moves. Huh? Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, I should have so, do a step and when the it, it keep falling Yeah, off. it kept falling, yeah. and it's like, there, so I'm just not, the pictures I'm, and like, yeah. throw it out. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, throw this <laughs> shit off. But um, I can't decrease my energy yeah. and cut down the, the level of performance. So then we have to create costumes that allow me to still move and mm. do certain movements without you know, restricting me. But I love that it's a collaborative process at the end. Yeah. It's much more than what we see. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a lot of effort. Yeah. For sure, yeah. definitely, <laughs> definitely. I mean, look, the, the song Lele Raja is not even out. It's mm. just a lyrical video. And I know my fans and the whole country is used to like seeing a full song out right before a movie is out, right. a mine at yeah. least. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. get to enjoy it before the, the movie comes out. But this time we did it differently. Um, and a lot of people are like, where is the song? Yeah. And they, yeah. they, they want to see the whole thing. I'm just like, you got to go to the we cinema. We don't release the entire song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a different concept here. Yeah. You go to the cinema yeah. to see it. Yeah. Well, um, it's, it's, we're it's saving a good the best thing. for the it movie, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope yeah. so, because like for this song, I 
literally injured literally myself. Broke her like my <laughs> ankle injury happened from this song oh. on the third day of shoot. Oh my god. Yeah. And then we saw the whole recovery process. It looked very painful. Yeah, it was. Oof. Yes. And I hope it was it's going to be So worth every time it. she came to set she was coming with crutches. Once she had god. a wheelchair. Yeah. Once she had just sing. Insane. Not very glamorous, but yeah. she made it. Not at all, but it looks glamorous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All that pain was definitely was worth it when yeah. you see it. I think we're also used to a time where actors and the audiences are now kind of connected in a way to understand we cannot box artists. And oh I yeah. feel it's a it's a lovely time to be. Um, Varun, have you ever you felt... You're not box artists? Yeah, okay. like yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. They like typecast them, yeah, yeah, them yeah, yeah. and all. And yeah. say that, no, you do this and Correct. this is what we want to see Correct. you in. And I feel like even the audiences are maturing to see that. I mean, uh, it's about how you give it to them. Ah. Uh, you keep doing the same stuff, they are going to get used to it. They won't. They will, they're not ready to accept you as something different. Uh, you can be a phenomenal actor, but still, you know, you give them a, cer you give them a certain food or something and they keep eating the same thing. Mm -hmm. They get used to it. It's, it's just like that. Yeah. Uh, you've got to give them a variety of films, different characterizations mm -hmm. and different genres. So, you know, I mean, for me, one of the biggest examples for that was Mr. Kamala Sanji. He has always played it different and versatile, mm -hmm. irrespective of the box office. Yeah. He's done some amazing films, some very different films at the peak of his career, which didn't really do well, but I feel like today he is who he is because of not just his hits, because of every effort that he puts into bringing that character to uh, screen. Is he, I mean, he's, you have to do that. You have to make sure that you put that effort and not get typecasted. But you get typecasted even even if it's today, <laughs> you keep doing this, they'll think, okay, okay, she'll do only this, he'll do only this. Yeah, you have to push it. And you, you have, have to, to really push it. Like break through. Another thing is not just the industry, mm. but I also noticed the audience, if they like you doing specific, specific thing, sorry, and then you change up and do something else, initially they will not like it. Yeah. But if you It'll just be patient and keep yeah. doing that, they start to get used to it and they're accepting yeah. of your yeah. conversion or your transition or whatever you want to call it. But does this also help? I mean, it, you know, please, please join in this conversation. You, you mentioned Mr. Kamal Hassan. You said because you're looking up to that kind of a person and his, his journey, is it easier for you to kind of detach from what the results of your movie are? Because um, I know when you reach a certain position, mm -hmm. that Friday and the numbers become your entire life. They are yeah. massive titles given to actors right. and I think that comes with a lot yeah, of pressure. Lot. How, but you know, again, I'm asking this question particularly also because Varun and I think both of you have been a little have not really thought about that so much, you know, and Varun definitely for sure. Me? You're talking about me? Yeah, even you. I don't oh, think you're me? really like... Oh, I'm the last person. Yeah. I have my own problems. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't <laughs> even... I, listen, box office is great. I would like, when Mon Mudgaon started doing yeah, well in yeah, box yeah, office, yeah. I was like, what a feeling. This is amazing. Yeah. But I, I never think of it. My thing is like, I need to work, I yeah. need to get true. as many projects as possible, I need to switch it up, I need to prove myself. So I have other things I'm That's worrying true. about. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to prove myself as a performer, yeah. as an actor, I'm trying to elevate. Mm. Um, but box office stress is not something I want to take because that is very heavy. That's true. On, but on you learn actors. that with time yeah. and you'll get out of it. Yeah. Uh, but like my but first film, it took me probably 10 days to get out of that entire zone where, you know, I was so attached mm. to the film. Maybe my sixth or seventh film, you know, it just took me a day to get out of it and, you know, work on it, mm. work for the next. Today, you... Today, now, I'm even earlier before coming here, I was talking to my uh, some of my managers. Yeah. I was telling them, I said, when are we going to sleep peacefully before the release? <laughs> 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 I said, Dude, I, I'm like, okay, this time I'm going to try. Mm. Uh, but it'll take time, yeah, it'll take time. See, yeah. I've, I've worked with Venkatesh Karu for F2. So that time, uh, there's this film of mine for Antariksham that was releasing. Correct. I was at shoot and I was a little, uh, you know, a little tensed about the... Uh, result and he said, he said, Varun, you've done your job as an actor. You, did you give your 100%? I said, sir, I think I did. You should only think if you haven't given your 100% and work on it. If you have done your job, you have to move on and don't worry about it, even if it's a hit or a flop. Mm. Uh, even if it's a hit, don't carry it too much. And that's the thing. I, uh, and the thing is, but that little introspection, you need to sit and talk about it, understand. Mm -hmm. See, I think trade, uh, is more often misunderstood. Mm. You need to understand a little bit of numbers to see how much to spend for your film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if certain tomorrow, because the load is going to fall ultimately on the actor also, mm. and the director. If you're spending unnecessarily for a film which is beyond your market, uh, uh, beyond your market, yeah. you know it ultimately falls on you. There probably you have to sit, analyze, and you know try to get the costs down a little bit before you go on to shoot. Sure. Ultimately, there'll be a little deviation of five ten percent mm. for every film. Uh, 
but I think you should you should be a little detached. You mm -hmm. should see it as a uh, see every project individually, not get too attached to it. Is this the reason why you're always in Z mode? Because whenever I have met him, I think he's that is my face. Really? Not his, not Let me <laughs> ask them. Yeah, I always feel like that too. Yeah. Thank you. What about Minachi? The only thing I'm usually is, he, is he's in Zen mode. You all have spent way more time with him. I want I, to understand. I feel like uh, because I'm very similar to who, how his personality is. I'm also an introvert. Uh, okay. And, uh, you know, it's like we always try to keep up this phase cool of space. like knowing that we've face. got it all thing. But I know on the inside there's like a storm going on. Like chaos. With not really. Not, yeah. not, See, not I really. told you yeah, with me. She's getting there. <laughs> when did you start? <laughs> when did you start working? Three years ago. Yeah, right? three years ago. It'll yes. take another six, seven years. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there to the calm space. I, I think yeah, but but I think also to add to the uh, last point is that what he said is so uh, true. Um, it's so important to know when to detach yourself from mm -hmm. things, from work. From people, yeah, and I think it's a healthy, healthy balance to maintain. Because if you don't do that, mm. I think uh, you are gonna go and you're creating a path of misery for yourself. Because you know, uh, I've seen so many actors who are just saying that you know you could never get out of that one phase. And um, I understand sometimes it could be challenging because to get into it takes so much of time. To get out of it, I can only imagine will take how much time. Mm -hmm. However. Um, I've seen with my life and I think luckily it's happened because I am a very detached person in general <laughs> with anything and everything in okay. life. I feel like it's helped me to kind of work my way through in the films. So I think uh, that that really helped me kind of gauge. Yeah. There was a lot of buzz regarding the film mm. and what it is. What are your thoughts on the kind of films that are being made right now? Um, you know, the the kind of films we have Pushpa 2, we have a lot of other things that are, right. that are coming up. As an actor, how do you gauge the kind of films that are coming in the audience reacting to it? I have a feeling you've thought about this. It's, it's a very deep subject. You, yeah. I, still, <laughs> I, 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 mean, I can say I still don't have an answer. I've thought about it definitely. Hmm. Uh, there's an observation about what films are working. Yeah. See, I have to be in that check to understand about from what to do from my point. But I feel like, hmm. I don't know, I saw Matka and I feel like you gauged a little bit. This, see, the, I, I finalized the script two years ago. Ah, okay, fair yeah, enough. But yeah. you know, since that, it, in fact, it is going on since the past two, three years. It started, started last December. Okay. Um, but, uh, see, there's always that analysis that you need to do and try to understand what's working. Correct. Um, sometimes you can be late to the party or you can be too early. Hmm. But there's a, it's, see, movies also like fashion. Like, see, today they're, they're flared pants that are in. Mm. They're, they're your chunky shoes back and again after like say another year or two they're out of fashion like even movies are like that There's a time when love stories work, mm. action works, again we're going to go back to romantic flicks it's, it's, it's a process so you need to catch the train as early as possible not mm. be too late So if you're on, if you're the right time you're going to get the success that's it It's just about finding that balance, space, sweet yeah. space I have a feeling you found the right thing. I did sometimes, sometimes I did, it was too late. But you know, it's, it's, it's a process, you, yeah. you should be, uh, you should be, uh, your mind should be open. Yeah, see I wanted to bring this up because I had a feeling you thought about it. Now talking about elevating, you have your global collaborations dropping, of course you dropped CK. Yeah, that's crazy. There is, yeah. it is. Nice. I saw a post, yeah. We had actually spoken about CK and CK had told me, uh, which I don't know if he got into trouble for later, but he had said I'm doing something with Nora for sure. Oh, nice. Uh, which is what we had said, but it's here. It's here. <laughs> it's yeah. happening. I just can't wait until we shoot the music video and put it out. Um, it's now, it's called It's True, and it's a part of his album called Emotions, mm -hmm. and it marks my second Afro beat collab after Pepita with Rayvani. Um, this one's interesting because we incorporated Hindi lyrics. Um, mixed Hindi with a bit of Afro English and that was cool to be able to do that. I was debating initially when I was in the studio whether to go full English mm. or mix it up English and Arabic but then I decided wait maybe we should just add Hindi because right now musically and even dance wise Afro is very in, yeah. in India, yeah, yeah. trending, people are really accepting the sound, the dance style um, and I'm like okay why don't we just you know, give a bit of representation for the Hindi language in yeah. India in something global. Yeah, and then of course we have Jason Derulo collab coming up. Yeah, yeah. Look at you. Sure, that's wow. crazy. Yeah, that's gonna be. I'm not on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just. I'm the hustle still on. Um, yeah, January. That's massive. It's massive. I just saw the last finishing cut of the music video yesterday mm. and I was like we shot that already away. yeah yeah we already oh, shot that crazy. it's so cool. based like on a futuristic Morocco yeah 
It's insane. No, if you're getting to get come, come here, please ask him to do a concert. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're planning. You're, you're, I think you're the only messenger here. Hello, Jason. Yeah, no, no, we're really planning. We're, plan- <laughs> we're planning to do a, a show. We're planning to do a Ooh. lot of stuff here. In Mumbai. Yes. Uh, but when That's the song true. comes out and the video comes out, you need to blow it up. You need to blast it. 100%. Okay, what I'm, I'm doing an interview with both of you. Excuse me. I'm giving you all of the ideas. That's 100%, 100%. 100%. But no, I think it's, it's, it's great to see uh, people who manifest things and getting it, right? Like yeah, it's only getting absolutely. bigger. So congratulations, thank Nora. You, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so All right. much. Um, unfortunately, I'll have to come to my last segment. And uh, it's a fun one. Are you ready? Yes. No. We're no. starting Nora. Okay. Because Varun's like, so get I want some time. Yeah. <laughs> Questions may be similar so you can think. <laughs> Nora, you're good at it. Please help me here. OK. OK, ready. OK, what is an industry advice that you did not take and you're happy about that, about it, the fact that you didn't take it. You know, you get a lot of advices from the industry to do certain things. Don't do songs. Mm. Yeah. And I'm sure you're very glad that you <laughs> did them, did you? Okay, I'll, I'll keep coming to you. This is the same thing, an industry advice that you didn't take. And oh, I know this one. Uh, so I was told that I should uh, go to parties and make connections. Good. And I'm like, I, I can't, not happening. So you just said you're an introvert. <laughs> that's yeah, dumb so, advice. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's one thing that I, I didn't bother paying any heed to. Yeah. And she's doing fine. Ladies and gentlemen, please take heed to that. <laughs> Varun, do you Luckily, want to have gotten only good advice, yeah? <laughs> I'm thinking about the bad advice you, that I got in the reject. It's not possible only. People always have such... You, know, you know, I don't let uh, ah. people... Uh, come Talk into my inner circle so I don't give them that space to give me advice huh. except for my family yeah. so Best. luckily I've gotten only good <laughs> yeah. advice but uh, when I was doing this film called Gadal Guna Ganesh that's, huh. that's a movie where I played a bad guy okay. and uh, I was told by every person not to do it because you know he said you're an actor you're a young guy mm, mm. you know why are you playing an oldie a baddie and all of that it's, yeah. it's against the the trend or the rule sure. you know of uh, an actor I said dude like I said I like this script I'm gonna do it and honestly, that is that is the last hit that I had in 20, 2020. And I'm very glad I didn't take that advice. Mm. Wow, me. that's crazy. See, you're doing So I'm doing it again. Ah. Yeah, I said, if that worked for me, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Let's go all bad. Why yeah. not, right? Yeah, go bad. What is the quality of your character in Matka that you relate to and one that you absolutely can't? Um, well, the fact that the performance part of it on mm. stage where she has to like woo the audience it's very cabaret mm. um, I love that I definitely could relate to that um, one part that I wouldn't I can't say because I would reveal the yeah uh, she, there's a part about her I'm just like you're crazy messed up yeah messed up oh I love yes, that yes, oh yes. gracious lovely yeah. what about you I think uh, the one quality that is like both good and bad about sure. her is that uh, she's somebody that who will who'll be willing to do whatever it takes to keep her family and everybody together. like together. At That's the same good time, on it. Uh, at the, at the maybe same she, time, she's not the backseat of her life then I guess. <laughs> yeah, right? it's, it's, a, it's a great thing. Uh. However, I feel like she at one point doesn't know where to like, to just like, Take a stand for herself, maybe. Yeah. yeah. This whole time, she's just been okay. doing everything for uh-huh. everybody that she forgets about herself in this whole space. Interesting. Interesting. What yeah. about you? Uh, Vasu is like pretty consistent with uh-huh. anything. Yeah, especially uh, in the focus that he has on mm. getting the job done. Sure. I, think, I think I try to be consistent as much as possible. Okay, I love that. Okay, a food item that you just can't stop eating if, and if it had zero calories, you would have eaten it throughout. Uh, so what many, <laughs> just so many things. A pasta. I yeah. still eat it despite... Yeah. The calories. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, but I know she does, so it's okay. Yeah. Pasta. Okay, what about yeah. you? I am a hardcore Punjabi Haryanami. For me, it's like aloo ke paronthe, muli ke paronthe, ah. all the paronthes of the world. The Please OGs. Bring it. <laughs> yes. The OGs. Varun? I'm thinking, yeah, uh, uh, like, like burgers. Yes, you have so many answers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. I'm thinking I like, I like pasta, <laughs> yeah, I like Punjabi food, I like Telugu. I mean, yeah, I like pizza maybe, yeah. I, oh, I yeah. love me a good pizza. Go, go easy. Mm. I like how everybody's suddenly thinking about food. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now I'm hungry. Okay. okay, Nora, what is one performance of yours that you think is the best and why? Song or stage? Can be anything. 
Oh yeah, that's that's really hard. I cannot choose to be honest with you. Yeah, I but sometimes you you know if you are like an honest moment, you actually think this. I think I have kind of got it. There's always that one moment. It it's okay. You're being humble. I can't. Only. No, I'm definitely humble, but I'm also a realist. Mm. And when I see every song of mine, I know the hard work I put in into the rehearsal halls. Even being a non-trained dancer, I break my back for those songs. Yeah. So after every song has been edited and released. I'm proud of everything that I see myself doing, so I can't choose. Okay, can't. that's coming Ooh. from someone who's not even, who got, not even trained. Imagine. Mm. So for me, I've never seen myself in my life or imagined myself to be able to do those things. So then, when it comes to life, you're wow. like, what? So true. Okay, yeah. fair enough. I won't put it in the spot. What about you? Something I, that you thought we were good at. Yeah, I, I definitely um, love this one character that I played, which recently released also in Lucky Bhaskar. Yeah. yeah. And also specifically because a lot of people told me you're so young, why are you playing a mother? That's another thing that I was given an advice on. Yeah. Mm. Good you didn't listen. Yeah, I, I'm so glad I didn't listen to that because this is probably one uh, character that the audiences uh, who've been wanting to watch me for a while have loved, loved me. Like, so Fantastic, Varun. It's going to be this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. I'm pretty confident about it. Pretty confident about yep. it. Hmm, you said that pretty quickly, which is fantastic. I was thinking of that time. Okay, he had time. <laughs> time. That's why I said start from the other end. This was not very good. Yeah, like, I thought Nora's going to get past her. So you actually, I was going to get yeah. enough time. No, okay. The funniest audition that you had to give and why? I can answer that. I, I have, okay, I haven't ahead. given an audition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, the first film I did some workshops with the director. Yeah. I mean, he's seen a picture of mine. He liked it, and he Correct. came and approached us. I think from there, I, I, we don't have this culture down south. Sure. Uh, you did you audition? You did, right? I did when yeah. I was in Bombay. For yeah. a lot of so you love tell me one funniest would, audition experience. I would suck at auditions, yeah. probably. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do. I mean, I need to be given a script, environment, setup, actors, everything. And then people looking everything. at you. If I True. there's a camera True. in front of me and True. a page, I can't do shit. Okay. Sorry. What about yeah. you? A funniest audition, audition experience? It was, it was the most bizarre audition I've ever been on. Okay. okay. There's this one uh, audition time wherein they would give me certain lines okay. beforehand. They'd be like, uh -huh. "Okay, just come prepared with this." I'm like, "Okay." And then I go on set. I mean, on that one room with four walls, like small one, sure. with like one camera and one light. Is this for a film or an ad? Uh, it was for an ad. Okay. And um, they're like, okay, so you have to act as if you're like in a rickshaw. I'm like, okay. So they're like, you know, just like pretend as if it's okay. <laughs> and then you drop the phone, and I'm like, but make it look like it's like it's actually happened. I'm like, okay, for that, it has to be real space for yeah. me to get it organic. But I'll still try. And then, but it, it's not looking like it's falling naturally. Like, but now all of this is not a part of acting, right? <laughs> it has to happen in an, in a rickshaw. So yeah. you have to. Sway so, and drop yeah, food. And I, I just didn't. I mean, I've not even started my lines, and they had like issues with me. Like, I'm not going right in the rickshaw. I'm like, okay, fine. So put me in a rickshaw. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm like, that I don't think is something that you have to be worried about as an actor. True. I mean, yeah. let me say my lines at least. So that was the most bizarre audition. I've that been. was a rickshaw audition. Yeah. 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 Rickshaw. Like, 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 how do I pretend that I'm in a rickshaw, which That's which true. looks organic to you? I mean, I can still enact, but yeah. it'd be better if it's in a rickshaw. Right? This is the funny one. <laughs> yeah, okay, Nora. Mine was the first ever ad audition I gave when I came to Bombay, mm -hmm. which was the first audition in my life okay. in front of a camera. So I went oh, in, God. it was for like this biscuit thing, I don't know. Anyways, I went in and she was like, okay, so I need you to act like you're falling in the mid air, like you're falling, <laughs> falling, and then, I love you know, those. and I, I looked like an up. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why. Anyone I would suddenly. look like an idiot doing that. <laughs> so true. It's like <laughs> literally crazy, but yeah. Uh, that, that is another funny one. Okay, last two questions. A misconception about yourself that you think the world thinks, which is not true. I don't, I think I have a lot of misconceptions. That's for a different interview. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you need another 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's not even an answer. Okay. I think a lot of people, because of, I don't know, the way I carry myself or like I have this alter ego in front of the camera. Uh -huh. A lot of people think I might be arrogant. Yeah. But I, I think that's a common uh, yeah. thing, amongst thing about actors. And yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. amongst scientists. But they used to think I was arrogant in school also. <laughs> really? Because I, would, <laughs> <laughs> because I would never talk. Like, and, I, and I have this grumpy <laughs> face. Achha, yeah. ye apne zor mein yeah. <laughs> He's like, this guy's arrogant, man. I was like, dude, when? You were like in your own <laughs> bubble, in your mind. Yeah, yeah exactly. definitely. I, I see him. I think people think I have attitude issues. For, yeah, it's just nothing. For God knows yeah, what. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. I'm beyond, like, yeah. far away no, from arrogant. No, when you're acting, they expect you to, like, smile, talk. See, sometimes you're no, lost in your, in your head, right? Yeah, sometimes like, you're spaced out. Yeah. For me, a lot of the times, I feel a little conscious, you know, a little overwhelmed. Mm. And sometimes I am in my spaced out True. in my feelings, in my mind. So, um, But then when people approach me, 
and I'm connected with you, I'm, I'm like I'll be the sweetest, loving, oh, yeah. most welcoming person. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely not Aaron. <laughs> but okay. I do love like myself a lot. Of course, <laughs> hello. That, that's Feeling myself. Hundred <laughs> percent, love yourself always. Okay, Ace King, Queen Jack. You'll have to tell me actors from any industry, male, female, that you feel and justify why you said them. Okay, Ace oh, King, God. Queen. You can take your own names. I love that. Confidence. We're not going to do that. I yeah. knew. I, 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 they, knew. They, then they'll say I'm arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. He's an ace. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Arrogant proof whole way. Like that. Okay. Okay. Um, Nora, first damn. you go. Ace. King? It's hard because there's a lot of kings out there. Um, Ooh. Ace I like or king? Or we start with king? Yeah. Ace. Ace. Let's say Ace is like a veteran and King is like the present. Yeah. Okay. Best okay. Uncle. So okay. make these. No, mm. I'd say oh, good. Thank you. I'd say King uh, Shah Khan sir. Uh, of yeah. course. You want to give a reason? I mean, not that. I, I mean, it's in the name, name right? Come on. Exactly. It's in the name. Uh, Self-explanatory. Hundred percent. Ace. Um, Ace. I'd say. Amita Bachchan sir. Good this one. She's stealing my yeah. answers. Okay. I'll have, I'll <laughs> I know. Have, I'll have an alternative version for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, queen, I'd say Madhuri, ma'am. Nice. Um, what's left? Jack. 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 That's it. Can be new someone. Jack can be a new, new upcoming. Yeah, new um, upcoming. Talent or whatever. And you can give a reason for it as well. Wow, I got. You're doing good, Nora. Yeah, <laughs> you give a great answer. I'd say um, Varun Dhawan. Okay. Yeah, I really appreciate his work ethic, and I worked with him before, and sure. she dancer. I had an amazing experience with him, and I think he's very talented. Fantastic. See, Nora, well done. Not bad. What about you? Oh, God, this is so Let's tough. Let's go. Because it's, it's not like that difficult. Mix of. Can be from industries. any industry. I'm, I'm telling you. It can she be has to balance her Tamil, yeah. Telugu. That's why yeah, I yeah, said yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. everything. <laughs> okay, so Ace, I already have one in mind, which is Kamal Hassan, sir. Of course. And uh, I'm not so asking King, a reason for it as well. So. Okay. Yes. Uh, a king would definitely be Chiranjeevi, sir. There's, okay. there's no one like him. Um, queen would have to be. Um, <laughs> Tabu ma'am. Ah, I really oh, love, love her. her. Yeah. I love her. She's fantastic. Um, what is left? Jack. Uh, Jack. Jack would be. Ash. Would be. Um, would be. Uh, give me a name. What? I'm, I'm still <laughs> struggling like, here I, to I get my Jack. I have to say my name for myself. <laughs> you see um, all it is, they finish like four <laughs> of my names. <laughs> because, because I recently worked with Dulkar, so I'm just going to say. Uh, uh, he's a good Jack. Uh, Dulkar yeah. is just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, okay. because he's like Jack of all the industries. Ah, you know? yeah, yeah, Jack he, of all yeah. trades. So, 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 makes sense. Well done, you. Well done. <laughs> so, can we repeat names? No. Stop for you. <laughs> yeah, why not? I can do A is like Rajni Kanji. And. I look, King is. Um, mm -hmm. um, I should say Chiranjeevi Garu. I mean, I can't think of any other yeah. name for me okay. personally. Yeah. If you want, you want or it was King Khan also again, okay. and she did the answer, so it is. Okay, so King Khan and Chiranjeevi Garu. So, okay, yeah. fair enough. And uh, a queen should be uh, Shri Devi, ma'am. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Like fans. She's fantastic. And Jack can be. Um, mm, there's uh, this boy from uh, Telugu whose name is Teja Sajja. Of he's course. Done Hanuman. Mm. Hanuman. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's. I uh, love that kid. Fantastic. Phew, see, it wasn't not that bad, bad at bad. all. I think you all should clap for yourselves. <laughs> it was easy, I'm not going to clap. <laughs> like, you are the most scared. I was telling you, and you answered most confidently. Yeah. But I love it. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, wonderful talking to artists who are themselves and love doing what they do. Thank you all are fantastic. Thank, Thank you so you much. So and much. sending so much. the team much lots of love. Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.